Now, before we go any further, you should make sure your computer can run WebGL programs. GL stands for Graphics Library, and it's what this course uses to teach 3D graphics. WebGL is built into a number of web browsers, so you don't need to install anything. Unfortunately, there's one major exception, Internet Explorer. So you'll need to use a different browser, such as Chrome or Firefox. On Macs, Safari supports WebGL, but you'll have to do a little twiddle to enable it. Linux has its own issues. You may also have problems with older graphics cards and drivers. The easiest way to test and debug your computer is to visit the following URL, get.webgl.org. If you see a simple rotating cube on the screen, you're all set. If not, follow the instructions on this web page to get your computer properly set up. If one browser doesn't work for you, try another. My personal preference is Google's Chrome, as it has a JavaScript debugger built in. If you get stuck, see the additional course materials for more tips and suggestions. Ultimately, you have to get WebGL to work in order to fully enjoy this course. Once you have it set up, you can go to a huge number of web pages that have graphical demos running on them, like this one. Look at the links provided for some of the better programs out there.